Take a quick look at these e-commerce items for sale. Do you notice a pattern? See how every product is on sale? Sale after sale. One sale after another sale. It seems like every e-commerce site is doing it, discounting their items up to 50%. Even big brands are caught up in the discounting craze, discounting just to keep up with other discounters. Behind the scenes, the online business owners I consult with wonder why they're discounting their products heavily yet are frustrated that buyers add to cart but never finish their purchase. What's going on here? Why are these discounts and sales hurting our checkout revenues? Hey, it's Marcus Allen. I'm the guy who runs MoreWebsiteSales.com, helping small e-commerce business owners multiply their revenues since November of 1997. The truth is never-ending sales and discounts attract all the wrong customers, and these discounts can destroy our online businesses fast. With that said, there are times when the right kind of discount can bring on a stampede of buyers to our website faster than a speeding bullet. Before I reveal the best way to discount our stuff, let's take a look at one of the world's most successful e-commerce sites, Apple Computer. We almost never see hyped up sales or discounts from Apple. Instead, we always see the full selling price on Apple Computer's website, always. It's the same at their retail stores, no discounts and no sales. Yet, Apple Computer is one of the most successful retail sellers on the planet. So what's their secret? Believe it or not, Apple Computer offers discounts, a lot. Apple Computer discounts in a way that's effective without hurting the integrity of their regular selling prices. Before I reveal Apple Computer's secret, let's talk about my discounting rule of three. Here they are. Rule number one, special. The discount must be rare or special. Rule number two, reason why. We must include the reason why we are offering this rare or special discount. And rule number three, takeaway. The customer agrees to a catch or a sacrifice of some sort. Typically, it's best to have at least two of these three discounting rules. Sometimes employing all three of these discounting rules fits the bill. Now, Apple Computer allows us to trade in our device as a discount towards a new device. This is rule number three, a takeaway. Apple Computer is willing to sell us their stuff as long as customer trades some value for Apple Computer's value. What's interesting is that Apple Computer does not use rule number one or rule number two. Just rule number three. Also, Apple Computer offers another sly discount by selling refurbished devices. Again, this is discounting rule number three, a takeaway. Apple Computer is willing to discount their prices as long as the customer is willing to get a used device. The bottom line is Apple Computer never has sales or discounts, and when they do, it's often couched as a trade-in or refurbished transaction. Here's the problem with the overuse of discounting. Studies tell us nine out of every 10 people know we can always buy an item on sale for that price. These days, e-commerce site owners casually and thoughtlessly display sales and discounts. They don't realize the damage this does to price integrity. Everyday discounting does nothing to motivate our website visitors to buy. Discounts focus our customers on price instead of value. And get this, customer satisfaction is directly proportional to the price they paid. That is, full price buyers are typically much more satisfied compared to those taking our discounts. With that said, a properly timed and worded rare discount can drive in a ton of new business in a short amount of time. Remember, discounting rule number one says a discount must be special. Offering a discount once or maybe twice a year is special. As far as discounting ideas, there's a lot to choose from. As we see with Apple Computer, we can sell refurbished devices at a discount because it employs discounting rule number three, a takeaway of trading value for value. Next, we can offer a discount for a defect or scratch and dent merchandise that's been slightly damaged in storage. Offering a discount for self-service might fit the bill. For example, we can say a fill-in-the-blank legal form, like what LegalZoom offers, does not include hand-holding and does not include customer service. We can offer a prepaid discount on new product ideas that have not been manufactured yet. We see this all the time on Kickstarter and GoFundMe. A flash sale would work if there's a limited quantity. Finally, it's always best to include the reason why when we're offering a discount. The reason why does not have to be long or complicated. Plus, I always include the word because in my reason why. It works like crazy. For example, we're offering a 25% instant discount on our most popular fingerprint locks because... All the packaging was water damaged after Hurricane Claris passed over our warehouse. Because is a magical word when we want people to do something. A 1978 Harvard simple experiment exposed the power of the word because. The experiment had people ask to break in on line of people waiting to use a busy copy machine on a college campus. The three experimental sentences were, Excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine? 
The next one was, excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine because I have to make copies? And the final experiment was, excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine because I'm in a rush? Using the word because and then giving a reason resulted in significantly more compliance. This was true even when the reason was not very compelling. For example, because I have to make copies. And here is my final discounting tip. The percentage discount offered can make a big difference. Discounting up to 15% does not typically move the needle. Yet discounting over 50% attracts less loyal customers. My studies reveal discounts between 10 to 30% work best. I think of discounting kind of like borrowing money from the family. Borrow once and maybe twice during a rough patch, no problem. But borrow over and over again, big problems. One more thing. I use a very unusual discounting tactic to sell my information products. To see it in action, check it out live on my site here at morewebsitesales.com forward slash discount.